Good morning everybody, welcome or welcome back to the channel. My name is Mel Spikes and let's go fishing. Are you ready? Let's do this. I'm alive! What a cracker of a morning everyone. Look at that. That is magnificent. So we meet again. We meet again. It is almost 9am this morning. It's a very late start. The conditions are going to be very calm. So the plan is to punch straight offshore and see if I can get some fishing done out there before the wind picks up which is supposed to be at about midday today. The seas are one meter so I'm pretty sure it's going to be fine. I'm going to take a tablet just in case it's not fine and we should be all right out there and then I'm going to come back in and spend the day fishing inshore. It's going to be a very long day probably 10 hours because the ramp is going to be 0.2 this afternoon and I'm going to have to wait for it to come back up or cut my session extremely short and come back by about one o'clock. So yeah, sit back, relax, enjoy, let's go fishing. just stopped at the um, the boundary from inshore to offshore I'm going to take my tablets now it's a little bit swelly it's not too bad though just what I take sure who that was but they just screamed out get into them spikesy all right I'm gonna head north the wind is gonna pick up in a north easterly later so I'll be with it coming back we'll see how we go out there it looks all right it's all right just for reference guys Bear Island and that point there there's like a pole, a flag pole. That is the line between offshore, inshore. Offshore, inshore. La Perouse, Cornell, and I am now past the inshore point. I am offshore. Make sure you have all of the relevant equipment past this point. So if you get pulled over, you don't get stung. I'll put a list of all of the things you need 
で。Let's go. That's the Botany Bay headlands right there. There is a rolling sea at 10 seconds, which is does a little bust up right there. It's very calm. It's very calm. So even when it gets windy later, it's not going to be dangerous because it is a low sea. What is this bust up? I might just throw something into that bust up in a minute. But yeah, I'm gonna I'm gonna punch out to the peak, guys. We're gonna check out if there's anything at the peak. It's seven nautical miles from here in yay direction. Let's go. There's a kayak at the peak. That's incredible. Okay, so I'm just gonna get my rod. This is my snapper rod. My fiber blade entails five to 10 kilo, one piece, seven foot rod. It's got an ATC Virtuous 4000 on it with 20 pound mono all the way through, so no braid. That's an 80 gram Cyclops rig that I make myself at home with the Elcat Striker Gangs. We will get a whole pilly on there, drop it down and see what happens. Actually, here looks all right. Let me show you the sounder. Look at that, beautiful. Remember when I vacuum sealed the jumbo pillies? This is exactly why I bought them. They are going to make excellent butterfly baits for snapper or for anything else that's here on the LCAT rig. So if you don't know how to butterfly, you can look it up. If we um, have success here, I'll show you how to butterfly them anyway. Middle hook through the body. Top hook through the eyes. Bottom hook through the fillet. That is a huge bait, but that's how it's going to sit. It's going to dive down. This might be too heavy, it might be too light, we don't know yet. Let's see. Oh, there is a current. Wow. The current is raging this way. Bad news. I will, um, I will put the boat in reverse and catch up to that.
Okay, I'm going to move back. We've got no bait. I'm going to try again. Reposition myself more strategically this time so that I can cover the whole ground in the drift because there's no spot lock today. It's drifting. Okay. I'm just going to spot lock, put some bait on. We'll do that big drift again. I'm going to do a small bait this time. Little average size pilly, and I'll do a whole pilly. We won't butterfly this one just for science. Okay, average size pilly, no butterfly this time. Same method, middle hook through the body, top hook through the eye, back hook, I'm just going to pin it there. That's how it's going to sit, that's how it's going to dive down. Snapper is going to eat it like this. Okay. I'm just going to put a strip bait on and try that. I'm not feeling the baits go which is a worry. I'm going to lighten the rig, even though it is extremely hard current. I'm going to go 60 grams, just so I can um, have a little bit more feeling if there is a bite.
we'll, we'll just put this whole strip on for science. I don't know how well it will stay. going to spot lock because I can see why we're on there is something going on on the sounder there am I on the ground no I think I think that's a fish forget what mono is like this is incredible though first first fish of the day on the 60 gram cyclops oh get out of it the current is absolutely raging this fish is in the current running that way I'm guessing snapper or trag.
big color. It's big color. I think it's a snapper. Huge color. Huge color. I think it's a snapper. I can't see. Is that a coat? I can't see. Big snapper, guys. Oh my gosh, oh my gosh, holy shit, holy fuck, guys, <laughs> okay, I'm shaking, that is a big one, that is a big knobby, that is a big knobby on the Cyclops. 60 gram yellow Cyclops. This thing is huge. Wow. Oh, wow. Okay. Can you see that? Can you see that? This guy's with me. Cyclops rig, baby. Oh, <laughs> I don't have any words. This is my first time offshore fishing in two months, and I pull a solid freaking knobby snapper. My biggest knobby snapper. I'm so excited. Look at that. <laughs> Let's get it on the brag mat and then in the tank. Can you see that? Cyclops in this big snapper's mouth. One hook, top hook. That is the rig, guys. I make this rig and I make it for a reason. It freaking works. He's thrown up a squid as well. There's a squid on my line that he's thrown up. That is a big snapper. It's 50, 57 centimeters right there. Oh, it's going in the tank. It's going in the aquarium. Twenty twenty four. That is my biggest snapper of twenty twenty four, right there, off Sydney. Ooh. 
look at it one more time before it goes into the tank. Boom. That's what the sounder looks like where I've hooked up. I've marked it. Huge snap. We will try again. Alright guys, you're going to hear some strange noises in the background while I fill up that um, live bait tank with my hose as well as my pump. This rig is no joke. I don't use it because I make it. I made it because I knew it would work. After years of using the LCAT striker gangs and being successful on them, I decided why not add a fixed weight to it. It is a Cyclops rig. It comes in five sizes. It catches snapper. If you want some, please contact me. I will make them for you. That's 60 grams. It's going back down with another pilly. See if we can get another snapper off this bait. Middle hook through the body. Top hook through the eyes. Back hook through a flap. Can't wait to show Mr. Elcat this snapper, man. He will be so stoked. Oh, that bird just scared the freaking hell out of me. another fish come on do I have the hook up yeah I got it I got it I got it 20 20 meters further from the first one I got it it's another snapper it's got to be another snapper 50 50 meters down swimming up swimming up the column swimming up towards me much smaller it's much smaller or it's just shooting up up the water column Let, oh yeah <laughs> shaking it's shaking okay it pulled a little touch of drag it's growing it's growing a bit in size I didn't mark the spot. I didn't spot lock. I'll just spot lock now. I'm so freaking nervous. You know what? I'm not going to spot lock. It'll make it easier to get the boat, uh, get the fish beside the boat rather than behind the boat. Pulling drag! It's pulling drag! There's colour. There's colour. Is that a kingy? That's a little kingy. Get out of it, bro. It's a rat king. That's a kingy on the Cyclops rig. Beautiful. I'll get the hook out and I'll let that one go.
Cyclops, baby. Right, I'm gonna move. I'm gonna move back to the snapper spot that way. You know what I forgot to do, guys? And we're gonna do it as soon as I drop this down. Sunscreen. That is the Cyclops rig with the Elcat Striker Gangs. Let's go. The um the phone's heating up quite a bit. So I don't know if I'll be able to keep filming because it's already really hot. I'll try. I've just hooked up to a little kingy, but I'm gonna keep trying for snapper here and then I'm gonna move in closer as the wind picks up. We'll just get this one in the boat. careful with these gang hooks eh? that is a little rat king in 80 meters off Sydney on the Cyclops rig I will where am I thingies I'll get the hook out One more drift for snapper and then we're done we're gonna move in I've just come about a kilometer north of where I've been fishing I um, dropped the bait down didn't have the camera going and as soon as I stopped the bay alarm I stopped the line going down something took my bait drag started pulling and then it just snapped me off keeping in mind this is only 20 pound mono that thing must have had teeth that's the only thing i can think of it may have been a snapper that just engulfed the whole rig and fit my line who knows but i'm going to drive all the way back now which is here i'm going to drop another bait down with the 50 grammer i only bought five of these cyclops with me one in each size so that's 50 gram a bit lighter than the last rig but I'll give it a go anyway. Seventy-five meter depths. Hopefully the camera will stay on long enough for this drift. It'd be cool to see that hook up again. Must have had teeth because I didn't even get a I didn't even get a wind on it. It just took my bait and ran. That drag was just pulling like nothing, and then it just went. Choo! done all the boats have gone home as well so we've got this place to ourselves just need to be really precise with where I drop this bait I don't want it to hit the ground and me not know about it and I don't really want to stop it too early either had another screaming run and another bust off this is freaking incredible that's the sounder whatever whatever this stuff is is bringing fish in to feed on it and I'm not going to give up till I run out of Cyclops rigs 
I really, really, really should invest in a heavier snapper outfit. 20 pound is just not good enough. Uh, I don't know what happened there, but we're going to go close to um, Bondi now. Bondi, Kuji, Bronte area. And see if I can find some snapper there on that ledge. Oh wow, I wasn't expecting that. I am alive. So yeah, I'm going to go check out that ledge that I found in um, the video that I posted called C map reveal or something I can't remember so we'll head over there now how to sound out ledges with C map reveal I think that's what I called the video anyway we're going to go to that ledge see if I can find some snapper there that was up my bum and um yeah keep fishing That's the 70 gram Cyclops. It's a little bit heavy for my liking on this rod. 60 gram seems to be the sweet spot. I've come five nautical miles back towards land and the current is just as bad here as it was out at the peak. I'll give it a go anyway. We'll end up going home with the wind at this rate. Oh, that's a bite. That was a bite. That is the colour of the water. Be the bottom. I think it's a snag. Snag. the same spot I sung the snag song for the first time. It is a snag. I 
I just think I got my rig back. Far out, that's far. I got everything back. I'm not sure, but I think my coat is dead, which is not good because it's too late for me to go home now. I won't be able to get into the ramp. to go inside, get out of this wind. advantage of the time you have to go fishing and explore and enjoy the environment we have around us. It's just magnificent. That looks fresh. That looks very fresh. Guys, this is the North Mullabar headland, which is called Yellow Rock. When I was a kid, my dad would tell me horror stories about this area. People would come here and fish and they would die. There's a very dangerous ledge. However, it's a very productive fishing ledge. It means a lot to me, this spot. I don't know why, it's very special. I've never caught a legal fish after all these years trying, but that is yellow rock and that is Malabar and I might go into Malabar and see if I can get a squid. Six and a half meters deep here. A bit deep for this jig, but we'll give it a shot anyway. I just need maybe three squid for my mate, and then we're done. I've come back into the bay. We'll find some calamari in here, I'm sure. We'll go to Kernel. It's very hot. I'm very buggered. Two and a half hours to go. I found a thing. I found a thing. I'm just squidding. But we've got to go get that. It looks like a giant spool of rope. A 
just lost my freaking squid jig. Got snagged. That was a bloody good jig too. I caught so many squid on it. The rattle one. Anyway, let's go get this rope. What the fuck is this? Is this somebody something? I don't know what to do. Somebody has gone out of their way to make this very nice contraption of a thing that's connected. To an anchor. I don't know. I don't fucking want to know. That's weird. Isn't it magnificent? It's very hot. See if we can find a flatty here while I eat my lunch. Half pilly rod, I haven't even used it today. I feel so weird fishing with this rod after using the snapper rod all day. So for lunch today I've got one kilo of pasta. My brother made it for me with vodka sauce. Can't taste the vodka. I'm on. And I dropped it. Come into 4.8 meters, and that's first flooding, probably in the early 30s at best. I'll um, I'll give it another go. That's a 20 grammer. Could probably get away with a 14 grammer.
We'll go 10. 10 blue. What's that? Legal flatty at the freaking nudie beach. Yeah, boys. And the girls, yeah, the boys and the girls. <laughs> I'll give it a quick measure and I'll see if it's worthy of dinner. Forty centimeters. Forty centimeters, and that's coming home. Woo. You know what? Why am I even? Why am I even attempting to do this? Mine. Oh, oh, that's the that's the same flathead I caught and dropped in the last clip. Okie dokie, artichoke. I wonder why my pump's not working. That's no bloody good. I got no, I got no, I got no pumps. I forgot I had a job to do. Alright Coley, there's your freaking sticker. I didn't even clean the boat so I don't know if it's going to stay. Oh no. Let me try from this side. Oh yeah, oh yeah, oh yeah, how's that? You can be next to the freaking bin chicken. There you go buddy. Damn it. Damn. What? Nudie number two. What do we reckon? We should do it this way, should we? Thirty eight centimeters. Yeah. Yeah, if we get any bigger ones, I'll let it, I'll let it go. Actually, I can't. I have no pump. Ah, oh, we'll keep it. We'll eat it. It's coming home. Guys, I don't know if you can see that this flatty has got a wonky, a wonky lip. Look at that wonkiness. Come here, bro. It's your lucky day. You're going back in the water because you're special. Come here. Okay. That is a wonky lip. It's 
See you later, buddy. Not without a present. Goodbye present. This is very big, very heavy. It's gonna end in heartbreak. Or I'm gonna get to see it. Shovel nose banjo ray, Port Jackson or Big Flatty. Shovel nose. False alarm is a shovel nose. One day, it's going to be that big fatty girl from my dreams. See you later, buddy. I'm pretty sure it's a nudie beach shovel nose. They're all shovel noses so far. I figured I would turn the camera on for this one. That's another, it's probably the same shovel nose every time, you know. I reckon it's the same shovel nose every single damn time. What do you reckon? It's the same shovel nose again. <laughs> Gotta be. It's gonna skull drag it like it's a shovel nose and hope it's not something else. Yeah, it's the same freaking shovel nose. Oh no, it's a different one. It's a different one. It's a different one. This one's a girl. That's a girl. The other, the other ones, all of the other ones have been a boy. This is a girl. That's the same little girl. We're done here. Done. I ain't going in there. I had this I had this little dream that I would go for a swim, but it's way too cold. Anyway, 
I think it's about time to draw the winner of last video's competition. Congratulations. It's getting a bit cold. Congratulations right there. You have won the last week's mystery prize, which I will send out once you get in contact with me via email or Facebook. Thank you for everybody else who got involved. I really do appreciate it. We're going to have a very special giveaway for this um, video because of that massive snapper that has really rejuvenated my spirits. I'm going to be giving away the complete Cyclops rig range, which is valued at about $60. So you will get the complete Cyclops rig range and you will get this singlet. This is a special edition, one of a kind, Mel Spikes, Spikes Fishing, Cyclops, Armour Coat, whatever's on the back, singlet. So tell me your size when you get in contact with me. Once you win the magical prize, the code word is Cyclops. This one. Cyclops. Cyclops. And that is the rig. That is the rig right there that you will win. The whole set, not just one of them, five of them. So, yeah. Comment below with that word in a sentence on its own. I don't care how you do it. However you do it will gain you entry. I appreciate reading all of the comments. Don't think that I don't because I do and I love them and I wish I had the ability to get back to every one of them. And I'm telling you, one day I will. It's just not today. So yeah, good giveaway. Good giveaway, special singlet too. So yeah, someone's gonna be really lucky. I think I have one hour to go and then I'll go back to the ramp. So I think I'll just spend the next, I don't know, half an hour jeeing myself up to go for a swim. <sighs> I'll see you soon. Oh, <laughs> I did it. <laughs> That was so good. That was so good. <laughs> it's cold. It's cold. I think that's the maybe second time ever jumping off a boat into the water where I know there's sharks. Uh, that's that's full on. I'm all teed up now, but we've got to go home. Let's get out of here. Let's get out of here. It's gonna be freezing. It's gonna be freezing as soon as I move away from this area. I'm still just so G'd up. I jumped off the boat and went for a swim. People might think, oh, people do that all the time. It's just normal, but it's not normal for me. <laughs> That's so good. I should do it more often. I should, I should make time to go for a swim while I fish and not think about the sharks. Oh, anyway, you guys should go for a swim too. And 
if you do swim already, well done. Well done, I admire you. That's freaking awesome. I'll, um, I'll show you the tides now. I should be okay. It's not okay. 30 centimeters. Hopefully the wind is not too bad where I've put you. Half pilly tail. Let's go. Let's go back to the ramp nice and slow. And then we can reflect on today. What a day. What a day. Don't ask me how I got in there, I pretty much floored it with the motor up as high as I could and just freaking sent it. And then it's like 30 knot winds, I had to tie the boat up very strategically to keep it from moving so I can jump in and quickly drive on.
Alright guys, well that's me done. The boat is clean, everything's packed up and we're ready to go. <laughs> we're ready to go. Thank you so much for watching. I, um, I really do appreciate it when you guys take the time out of your day to watch my stuff, join me on these adventures and support me enough to keep making these on weekends for you. So I really do appreciate it. Thank you. Uh, don't forget the competition. It is a very nice competition. Singlet, complete Cyclops rig pack, and you'll probably get other weird stuff from me as well. So yeah, thank you. Take care, stay safe. Have fun, and I will see you on the next one. Cheers.